David Alexandra on a typical Monday, the able twins would be here at Upchurch Elementary, but today, like all Millard students, they're learning from home. They gave us a firsthand look at what that looks like and put my second grade math skills to the test. CH makes ch at a kitchen counter classroom. How'd you spell it? Good job, Liz. With a teacher who looks a lot like mom. But I love seeing what they're working on. The eight year old Able twins are used to school days that look pretty different from what you or I remember. When I was in school, I didn't have to do this. Did you know? Jocelyn and Jalen go to Upchurch Elementary, but like all Millard students, they're learning remotely on this day, which has its perks. We sleep, we sleep in a little. little. It's asynchronous, so no Zoom classrooms. Instead, the girls were sent home with assignments. And they knew exactly what the expectations were. Spelling. W-R-I-T-E. Math. You can help figure out your work to figure out this space. Even gym. <laughs> if they don't finish, they'll have to play catch up during recess when class is in person tomorrow. The district hopes these days give teachers a chance to catch up on homework of their own. If this helps relieve some stress for them, we would do it, a, you know, we do it once a week easily. <laughs> the Able sisters know they're lucky. They've got a mom who can stay home with them. I can imagine it's not so easy for people that are working. As second graders, these girls have never had a COVID free school year. They are resilient. And after two years, mom says students and teachers have taken note of what works when learning from home. They understand and they know that they need to do their part to help keep everyone safe. These days are intended to help stress teachers, but with 205 COVID cases reported in the Miller District today, hopefully they can also help slow the spread. Reporting live in Miller, Joey Safchik, KETV Newswatch 7.